freedom, one of the most unique traits of the United States of America. But in the 18th and early 19th centuries, freedom was only for white male citizens. The times of slavery were horrible. Slaves, Africans who were shipped to America in a crowded ship, were mistreated and had no rights. They were forced to work long hours for no pay and live in cramped, dirty shacks. Slaves were viewed as property of the master, who could buy, sell, and trade them as he pleased. Come on! Take all the weeds out of these fields! Come on! Come on, work faster! These weeds won't tend to themselves! Come on! Listen, you! Come on! Let's go! Many slaves decided that they had had enough and escaped through a system called the Underground the Railroad. The Underground Railroad was a series of safe houses where runaway slaves could find refuge on their way to the free states in the north. Later, in 1865, slavery was officially abolished. In 1912, slavery has officially been abolished. Now, there's a new group of people searching for freedom. Women. Sadly, women were not viewed as people. They were viewed as brainless, worthless without a husband. Hey, you can go, you brainless woman. I have a brain. Curse your husband for giving you such ideas. I'm an independent woman. I don't need a husband to be at work. <laughs> Think he can vote. Why can't she? Yeah, she's a citizen. But if she can vote, we can too. We could vote if these men would let us. No way! You have too small a brain. You'd probably vote for the worst candidate. Yeah, and if we let you vote, we have to let that mob vote. And then we would give you guys even crazier ideas. Now, a new age has begun, the age of industry, and it has brought new ideas and people looking for a better life. These people were the factory workers. In this time, America was rapidly growing. Factories were a way of making products fast and cheap. Women and even small children were forced by the economy to work long hours and dangerous factories and mines. Children who labored in the factories worked long hours, leaving no time for education. It was the new age, one of the prosperous ideas, but it was fueled by the sweat and blood of factory workers. Ah! Ow! I... The Fair Labor Act of 1938 finally put an end to unfair wagers and child labor by setting a minimum wage standard and age limit. No one under the age of 16 was allowed to work in the factories. 